What's up, Facebook? So I just wanted to share a little something with you guys. So um, I just got done with an extended fast. Uh, it was about 38 hours, which means I ate um, like the day before yesterday. And then yesterday I woke up and I just didn't eat anything all day. So I woke up and went to bed and didn't eat all day. And then I woke up um, this morning and I went to the gym and I was like, I'll see how I feel. I did have, I did have some pre-workout. I use a complete rush keto pre-workout that has MCT. So I did have a little boost from that. Um, but that was it. Right. And so I was like, I'll just see how it goes, see how I feel, see how I perform. I got to the gym and all the treadmills were taken. So I was like, okay, um, I'll do some warm ups. So I get to the little green area. I'm doing some warm ups. I roll out the ladder. I'm feeling great. I'm doing ladder drills and sprints and, um, marching like hops and all this stuff. I'm like, man, I'm feeling really good. Um, so finally a treadmill opened up. I jump on the treadmill and I knew right from the, right from the gate, I was like, Oh man, I feel really good actually. Um, and I ran three miles. I ran at like a 706 pace, which is like kind of typical for me, but a little bit on the faster end of things. I was, I, that's a faster run for me. I was like, man, this is awesome. And then I like went and lifted shoulders afterwards. Right. And I felt great the whole time. Um, and the reason I was able to do that is because of keto. So I'm telling you guys, like, I'm not a keto zealot. I am not like everybody needs to do keto and be keto forever. Like actually I have clients come to me and I tell them not to do keto sometimes. Right. But that being said, like, I'm so glad that I did a phase of keto because I got super fat adapted. And what that means is that my body can use my own body fat for fuel really efficiently and really well. So I tested my ketones this morning. So what happens is like when your body uses its own fat for fuel, what's up Aaron Smith? Um, it will turn those, the fatty acids into ketones and then your body uses that for energy. So I tested this morning before I went and my ketones were at a 0 0.8. My blood ketones is what I was measuring. And so that's ketosis, right? So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm producing ketones. It's going to help me have energy. Um, got in the gym, performed like a boss this morning. And I was like, that is so cool. That is such a cool thing to know that, um, my body can perform and do what I need it to without being dependent on carbohydrates for energy. And just to give you guys a little background on me, I was an endurance athlete forever. Um, and like I used to, you know, like carb load and do all those things. Like the week before a marathon, I would like only eat rice and very little fat and very little protein, you know, and the morning of I'd have like a peanut butter and honey sandwich with banana, right? Like I lived that life and I fueled my my body with carbs because that's what always has been taught but it's so cool if you look into the research that's coming out now on the ketogenic diet like i just went to what was called metabolic health summit out in long beach california and this is where they call it where keto science meets society so it's where all the researchers and scientists come and report what they found on studying the ketogenic diet and um there's a whole there was like a whole panel on exercise performance so obviously that's my jam. So that's what I was really paying attention to. And Dr. Jeff Volick, um, he has been doing research for a long time on keto. He's super smart and it was amazing to hear. He just did a study on endurance athletes and they took 10, they took 20 endur like ultra endurance athletes, like these hundred miler guys. Right. And they had 10 of them that were keto and 10 of them that were on a high carb diet and they had them run on a treadmill for three hours, <laughs> which is like nothing for these guys, but <laughs> holy smokes. So they ran on a treadmill for three hours. And what was so interesting was that the, the ketogenic athletes and the high carb athletes had the same amount of muscle glycogen and they replenished it at the same rate, which is so crazy. And these were like very comparable athletes, same VO2 max, like same kind of body composition. So, so interesting. So like really what's being challenged, I guess right now is this thought of like, it's like how many carbohydrates do we really need? And that was a huge shift for me because I, so I was running marathons forever. I was like kind of overweight at the end. I have four kids. So after my fourth baby, like I was, yeah, I was kind of overweight and I just, it wasn't coming off and I wanted to qualify for Boston, but I kept missing it by nine minutes. I was like stuck right there. Right. And I was like, for, I'm not, I'm never going to qualify for Boston. I just can't get any faster than this. And then I switched, I started lifting and I switched to a low carb diet. And on my next like half marathon that I just happened to run with friends, I like blew my time out of the water. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try to qualify for Boston. So I've signed up for a marathon three weeks later and qualified for Boston with 
17 minutes to spare and it was like my best recovery um obviously like i leaned out too so that helped i mean being lighter when you're running helps but switching to a low carb diet like it helped me get leaner and it my performance was enhanced too like i was i couldn't believe how much faster i was running the fact that i run like seven minute miles now like blows my mind <laughs> i'm like who am i and then on top of it okay let's talk about this subject that i put on the topic here so fasting right so what's so cool is that after you like get fat adapted after you do a phase of keto your body doesn't forget how to like switch into ketosis when you run out of carbs right so obviously i fasted for 38 hours my body was out of any kind of you know carbohydrates coming in from food so and just a side note i'm pretty low carb most of the time so anyway i like i'm producing ketones i go i perform like a boss and um like I just like, I'm not saying that you should run <laughs> like, and you have to work out after an extended fast, but I think it is so cool that we can teach our bodies to do that. So then like later on, you know, like for me, it's just kind of food freedom. I'm not like dependent. I don't get hangry. Like I know everything's going to be okay <laughs> if I can't eat right away when I need to. And that is the beauty of being fat adapted and being able to use fat for fuel. Cause like ideally, like if we, you know, if food, the food system wasn't like it was right now, like there, think about how much food you would really be eating if you had to like grow it all and like have animals and do it yourself. Like, I don't think you'd be just like snacking away on, you know, we wouldn't be eating like this. We wouldn't be eating as often. So like from an evolutionary standpoint, our bodies are supposed to be able to eat carbs, run out of carbohydrates and just use our own body fat for fuel. That's why we store body fat, right? So like doing a phase of keto teaches your body how to do that again super important like if you're getting hangry between meals or like you couldn't wake up and go to the gym and do your workout that's a really good sign that your body is not fat adapted your body is not good at using fat for fuel so like you don't have to live that way it's super liberating like and i used to not be this way i used to be so like depend i wake up and i'm just starving you know like and i just like couldn't there's no way i could have done a workout without eating first but now i can it's so freaking cool Lane Garrison's watching sweet. We have the same last name. Are we related? <laughs> we have the same last name. Sorry, that caught me off guard. So <laughs> um, anyway, I just wanted to share that because I think it's just so empowering to like um, do these things for your body. I'm not saying you need to be keto all forever. Actually, I don't think keto people, I my like whole message in the ketogenic space is do keto, but not forever. I don't think people need to, unless it's like just super working for you and you just feel the best you ever have, like go for it. But for most people, I just think keto is a really, really cool biohack. It's a really cool tool in your tool belt to teach your body how to use fat for fuel. And then when you go back to having carbs again too, you have the best of both worlds, right? That's how I live. It's super liberating. So I thought I would share that. Um, for especially anybody who's like interested in enhancing their athletic performance. Like if your body can do well without carbs, right? Like you could perform fasted and do great without carbs. And then you're going to add that jet fuel or whatever, like to a workout maybe, um, then you're just going to perform even better. Right? So it's pretty cool. It's really, really cool. It's amazing. Like to see like our bodies really don't need as many carbohydrates as I think that we thought they did. And that, at least that's been the case for me. And it's like, kind of made all my dreams come true. I'm running faster, I'm performing better, I stay lean. So I, yeah, I'm a huge advocate of a high fat, low carb diet. I just think from a hormonal perspective, having all those healthy fats is so important. And also like every cell in our body is made of fat. Like we have been deprived of fat because of like the stupid food guide pyramid. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> like take a look at that thing if you have a second. I mean, it literally, says that the base of our diet should be cereal pasta pasta cereal pasta rice and bread i think right and we lived that life right and we had those little specks on the dot that were like oils you remember like fats were like just these little teeny tiny dots and they were mixed in with sugar but like we definitely ate the sugar but we were like ooh, not fat though and so we've all been deprived for so long of fat so like if you've been living a low carb i'm sorry a low fat diet for a long time I cannot recommend enough switching to a high fat, low carbohydrate lifestyle and just watch, just see, just try it, see what happens to your body. And it's, um, it's very satiating. Like 
I don't ever feel hungry anymore. It's not like I'm white knuckling it between my <laughs> meals. Like I just, it's, it's like food freedom and it's amazing and it enhances exercise performance too. So try it out. And um, lastly, I'll say just on fasting, it just makes fasting so much easier. And if you don't know the health benefits of fasting, I really encourage you to look into that. It's like the fountain of youth. It's like renewal for your body. It's giving your gut a break so it can heal and renew, right? Think about how much our guts are working for us. Like they never stop. They never get a break. And so if you give it a break from fasting, it can actually heal and renew, right? So if you have like gut issues, definitely fast, you know, and you might want to look into bone broth and collagen and things like that too, right? So anyway, um, yeah. I, that's why, so if you guys want to, I, I'm starting to branch out on Facebook, as you guys see, I've been doing some lives for a minute, um, but I'm really super active on Instagram too, so if you want like tips like this, find me on Instagram, it's just Coach Tara Garrison, and um, my website with all my programs, if you want to try keto, um, my program's called Keto In and Out, so it teaches you how to go into ketosis, everything you need, all the supplements that I recommend, like all the answer, questions answered, common questions answered. I'm a full-time ketogenic diet coach, right? So everything that my clients are constantly asking me, that's what I put into the program, so you know how to get started. And then I, but my, like, mm, my message is, and then here's how you eat after <laughs> keto, right? You don't have to stay keto forever. Start bringing back in some fruit and some sweet potatoes and live a like balanced diet after that. But use keto as an amazing tool to start tapping into your own fat stores so your body can burn both. It can burn carbs and it can burn fat really well. So that's my message. So yeah. Um, oh, Vanessa, what's up? That's my girl from like way back. <laughs> my best friend from like my whole life. All right, guys. Hey, um... Yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to DM me. I'm happy to help out. And if you guys have any other suggestions for things that you want to learn about, um, I specialize mostly in like uh, lifting, running, biohacking, uh, keto. So that's that's kind of my, my world. So if you have any questions, let me know. All right, bye guys. <laughs>